Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to do an unboxing video uh, from the stationery selection. This is for the month of September. And um, I think I will be just sharing with you some of my thoughts and some updates, life updates at the end of the video. So this is September's box and these are the items in September's box. Please feel free to pause if you like. So I'm just going to go down the same, same as I do every, every month. I'm going to go down this list and share with you the items. Firstly, uh, we came out, we came up with these uh, new business cards and um, I think there's three variations. There's this one, there's the full red one, and then there's an outline like this but in black. So you should be getting one of these in your boxes as well. And as I mentioned previously, um, we're trying to cut down on uh, packaging, I guess. and so probably from next month uh, not everybody will be getting these business cards um, most likely just the people that are new to the subscription box um, will include them but if you are someone that wants them every single month of course that's not a problem at all just leave me a note in my email email is the best way to contact me okay so, sorry about that I just had to uh, put that out there so the first thing on the list is the Delphonics pouch this one here is white or cream there's also black and olive yellow and blue I believe so there's different colors and um, yeah like everyone will have a different color so I really like this because I'm I really like the simple silhouette and it just kind of keeps the essentials that you need. Um, of course it won't fill, fill up a whole bunch of pens and pencils but if you just really need um, the simple things or just the necessary things this will hold everything and it will keep it organized at the same time. So there's two popper buttons there. Uh, you can store like stickers and sticky notes, flat things in the back two pockets here in the middle and because the slit is in the middle um, you don't have to be afraid of things flying out like the opening isn't on this side it's the opening is towards the middle so uh, you won't have to worry about things coming out so there's that compartment and then there's two zippered compartments there's one on this side and it, it is stitched in the middle here so it is separated it's not like one big pocket so I like, I really like how it's, um, like you can organize your things. And because this Daphonics, the other Daphonics pouch was a huge hit and I believe that was March's box, I thought it was time we include some, another uh, Daphonics pouch. And so here it is. Next on the list is the Marvi Uchida for drawing pen. And some people will have the 0 0.1 and some will have the 0 0.3. I couldn't get all in one um, nib size. So there's that. And um, we've included this same brand, but in the brush style in previous boxes. And so I thought I would include it, but in a different tip. So there's that one. Next is the Maste Washi Tape, and uh, this one I chose, it's very simple, like a simple design. Let me open it up for you. I chose this one in particular because uh, you can actually write on here. Usually with washi tape, it's hard to write on the surface. Let me do a demonstration. Let me get like usually you you would need to do um, like a permanent marker uh, if you want to write on the washi tape. But let me get like a ballpoint pen. Let me do a demonstration. It's really easy and you can easily write on the washi tape. Hopefully it's not too far. Let me pull that up for you. So you don't need like um 
you don't need a permanent marker to write on the washi tape. And because the the motif or the de design is uh, nice and faint, it doesn't really disrupt with the writing either. So there's that one. This is the Masté washi tape. You can <laughs> it says here, writable and removable. Then we have the then we have the Pine Book date uh, stickers. And uh, yeah, I thought it's good for journaling, and I thought it was a really cute and fun design you can use uh, for, you know, if you want to journal or if you want to use for your schedules or planners. And then it has these nice little words on the bottom there as well. I forgot to mention that they're like the masking tape type of style, so they're really nice and thin. Alright, sorry, this is another day. I'm filming this um, on a different day, so I apologize uh, for the lighting change. Here is a file folder in the A5 size by the company Name Plus, and it's called a camoufl camouflage holder, um, but it is a folder that you can stick in your items if you don't want like if you have private notes. Um, I actually found this, or I've actually seen it being used in real life when I went to get my uh, contacts renewed, the lady holding my file. And of course I am like patient and customer information is confidential. Um, but yeah, when she was completing my file, she would write all my information down, my personal information down, and then she would put it in a folder like this so that it's harder to see. I don't know why on camera it's quite clear, but in real life it really is um, more, um, it's a lot more difficult to read. Um, I don't know why the camera, uh, when I look at the viewfinder in the camera, it's um, clear. But anyways, uh, yeah, it is. I thought it was really neat because I haven't really seen these. Um, yeah, so if you have like little sticky notes or little memos uh, that you don't want people to see, like if you're in the office and you have some uh, confidential information written on a sticky note, you can uh, easily put it in under here. Uh, so that you can, uh, like if you went to the washroom or something, you don't want people to see your notes, you can s stick that in the folder. Next up is the Stalogy sticky notes. Uh, let me take it out of the pack packaging so that you can see, but the good thing about Stalogy is that they have uh, English uh, packaging as well so that it's easy to understand. Well, they have different we have French there, and I'm assuming German? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see. I believe with Astology as well, there was two different designs, but they're very, very similar. Uh, here it is, and it comes in a nice protective, like a plastic sleeve. You can see there the reflection, um, so that your sticky notes don't get uh, damaged. And they just look like that. They have lines that you can use, and it has a really nice border around it, and the sticky notes part up here. I like the protective sleeve touch. It's a really nice touch. There's that. Sometimes I find that <laughs> I use my sticky notes, and then I just kind of shove them in my pencil case, and they start to get, like the corners start to get damaged. So this is a nice touch. Lastly is the Robiki note from Yamamoto Paper. I really, really like uh, their um, covers. So they they have several new designs out. They have several new designs out now. <laughs> Sorry, um, I will post or I will try and film some close-ups. But I really like this one. It has green stitching. I use the gray cover one frequently. It's a nice size and I like the, the paper as well. Uh, right now it's stiff but once you start using it, it really opens up nice and flat because it is stitched. Um, but this one has really cool green stitching, like a contrast green stitching. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but it's waxed. The paper is, like the cover is like a waxed paper. Isn't that cool? <laughs> but yes, they have several new designs out now. And um, yeah, so there's the Robiki note from Yamamoto Paper. And um, if you use a regular size traveler's notebook from the Traveler's Company, like the original one, this will fit nicely in there as well. So I 
think that's it for September. So yeah, so let me just recap as the Robiki note, the Stella G, the camouflage folder, the phonics case, the masking tape, and stickers. <laughs> yeah, let me put that there. Okay, so that is September's box. Now I'm just going to just, I guess, keep you up to date about what's going on. Um, October's box sold out in hours, in a couple of hours, and I really didn't anticipate this from happening. I mean, last month we sold out, uh, we were I kind of, <laughs> not anticipated it, but um, Pear Fleur, she showcased our box on her YouTube channel, and I guess that really gained popularity, and um, I understand why the box is sold out so quickly, but in the previous previous months uh, prior to that there you know we would have stock for well over a week 10 days things like that so I just I don't know I, I, I shouldn't assume but I thought it would it wouldn't sell out so quickly and I just feel bad because I can't take everybody on the wait list and uh, yeah another update I guess life update is that we uh, we are told that we need to move at the end of this month and um, I am like max stressed out. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to ship out everything. Um, I'm gonna try my best to ship out October's boxes by the end of September. I really don't think it's possible. I'm gonna ask my husband if we can get like a one or two week extension because I don't know. Anyways, that's like kind of off topic, but I just can't put up any more or I won't be able to fulfill the boxes and I won't be able to keep up with customer service. Um, my email inbox is... I try my best to stay on top, but there are some days that I just, I can't keep up. And now with this move, with this pending move, not really pending, I, this with this move that I ha we have going on at the end of this month, I just can't take on anymore. Hopefully once we've settled down and uh, things are looking a little bit better. I'm not too sure how it's going to go. Actually, we're going to be moving further away, so I don't even know if I'll be able to get my mo mother-in-law's help. Um, she would come in once a month to kind of help out with the boxes, like the packing portion of it. So even that, I don't even know if she'll be able to come in once a month anymore to help out with the boxes. So yeah, I just wanted to keep you up to date. Um, I know that the I know that it's so frustrating. I get so many emails saying that um, it's frustrating to go onto the website and it's constantly sold out and I'm very, very sorry. I really wish I could stock more, but right now I'm really, really, please understand, I'm really trying my best. I know some people message or DM on Instagram, but the email is the best way to go. I'm not always on Instagram because I'm managing, I'm trying to manage the email inbox. I find that that's my like my priority. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from. It's just it's not um, the stationery selection is not like a big huge company, or it's not even a. It's like it's just me and my husband helps out, my mother-in-law helps out, and that's it. <laughs> um, it's not like you know we have a small office of workers parking away and answering emails and um, yeah. But I do appreciate the design team, so uh, I can't say it's not just me. I can't just say that it's me, because the design team members really do help out, so. Okay, enough rambling on my end. I just wanted to uh, let you know how um, I do read your messages, and I do recognize and acknowledge that there is the need for more boxes, but just right now at this time, I can't fulfill that request. I'm trying my best, uh, but in the future, hopefully, um, things will get a little bit better. Okay, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, email is the best way to go. Thank you again. Bye-bye.